Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the uh, Wednesday before, before Jackson Hole. Um, looks like it's the 26th of August. Um, at least evidence points to the fact that it's the 26th. Quiet, quietly risk on is the theme. Everyone's waiting for Powell. Everyone's looks like now they're waiting for September. But we still have to remain vigilant, even though it's been uh, one big dick suck of vigilance the last uh, seven trading days. It's okay. This won't be the last time that I get very, very vigilant before I needed to get vigilant. Um, so anyway, still vigilant but still no action. We're going to start today with the uh, long bond. Um, course short is the way on this. Looks like we're going to we're going to take a little take a little visit lower on price, higher on yield here. Um, the yield is um, 138 now. 138.8 through 144 is kind of your your bingo number you can take a look at the long bond yields which isn't exactly isn't exactly right but uh, I believe it's TYX yeah so here's your yield chart we think this thing's gonna go up to 180 um, here we are down at 145. Powell obviously could be easily a driver on this if he says something uh, less dovish. This could also go the other way, so you have to be prepared to look both ways. But it looks like Powell, we're setting up for Powell here. So this is the yield. Um, this is the price. Where's ZB? And you can see this is going to be 180. The yields can be around 180 if the price gets down to 170. So it's it's a good six six handles lower. We have price points. Uh, the June price point was 177.04, but you really want to be looking at yield more than the price points from different contracts. But last week's price point was 16. Yesterday we printed. No, 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 19. Today we're 26. Shit looks like it wants to go lower. ZN uh, is going to look the same. But ZN is a bit fucked up, right? It's just so slow and shitty and no vol and no action. And If you like slow, slow price action, trade ZN, but you got to trade bigger size. If you like proper price, I would go with the ZB. Um, long bond. Anyway, that's on the frontal lobe today. We're watching um, 177.16. Just while we're here, Bitcoin zip down to 1103. This thing looks like she wants to go lower now. Um, this could do anything. It's like a stock. It's not a currency. Do not load up on Bitcoin like you might want to load up on a leveraged bet on Euro uh, or any currency. Uh, the volatility is rather hysterical, but we are picking up bitcoins um, on the 10 handle. I think we're going to be sitting here at around 10.2, 10, 10,200 um, for our next purchase. We do dollar cost average every Monday as well um, for smaller amounts just because it seems like a one strategy um, that with consistency works. Anyway. Let's go to crude, not trading this shit. As most of you know, we suck at crude. But um, it's interesting up here, 5360. Excuse me, 4360 is now important. Um, this will be, you know, the highs since the negative move, the highs since the March crush. Um, through 4360 there might be 
might be some clear air. I'm a little bit cautious up here. I definitely don't want to buy crude, but we are just watching it as part of part of the general story on what's going on and the general feeling and psychology of the market. Crude always tells part of that story. Euro dead, middle of nowhere. Cable also like relatively dead in kind of a, like a stupidly volatile way. 130.50 still interesting to us on the downside if we get back down there. Middle of the range, don't do anything. Dollar Swiss might go higher if rates shoot up. Might go lower if risk goes if we go risk off. Um, not doing anything here, nothing to do there. Dollar Yen took a little bit of a visit above 106.50, but again, no love. Right in the middle of nowhere, as you can see, G7. We are doing nothing. We are just waiting, waiting, waiting. This is an interesting chart. Looks like a trap break up here, 140.22. Um, again, not interested in, in really any of this. Dollars are. We squared our dollars are um, on a horribly risk managed uh, position. I mean, we scratched it, but we were like long 96s. We bought 76s. We sold 88s. We bought 82s. We sold 86s. And a fucking clusterfuck of waste of time. Um, waiting for dollars are to turn. It will not turn unless equities turn. So just got to be patient here. Obviously, the big the big big moment is Powell um, tomorrow afternoon in his Jackson Hole speech so expecting range today we do have durable goods today um, in the US get some bond auctions in the UK not too useful that a few speakers um, but really rangy rangy type day today dollars are we wait um, does this even attack uh, 1635 at one point? I doubt it. But um, for now, we're square. Uh, square dollars are. Aussie, same thing as the rest of G7. Nothing to do. Euro Aussie, same. It goes on and on and on. Dollar CAD, funny one, Dollar CAD. Just, uh, I don't know why these volume bars are here. So stupid. Um, now we have like a sort of a little, we have a good little topside level, clear air above 132.40. Um, but if crude breaks 43.60 and we get a dollar sell off, dollar cat could easily go a lot lower. Been a bit cable esque dollar cat, sort of up and down, up and down. Look at these are green, red, red, green. But even these red ones, way higher, way lower, way higher. We're just dicking around in this basically 130, 130, 132.40 range. Um, look both ways, dollar cad. But again, we're not trading this today. It's all setting up for tomorrow. Tesla, we squared. I mean, this is like short the dream trade. Um, no real love there. I mean, we made some money, but a uh, lot of work, a lot of vol in these single name stocks uh, that I'm not exactly used to being mainly a currency trader or an index trader. Uh, so it was interesting in a sense, but we're square this. I don't know what's going to happen with Tesla. I know it's overvalued. Uh, when it turns, your guess is good as mine. Can it go to 4,000 before it goes back to? 800 of course it can of course it can if you don't think so you're in the wrong business nazi same as the es chart um, what are you gonna do waiting for powell if powell is hawkish and he's worried about irrational exuberance this shit is gonna collapse uh, if he's super dovish and he's gonna add uh, all kinds of uh, new stimulus it goes higher it's pretty simple um, so we're just waiting for Powell 
this trend line kind of defies, defines the uptrend pretty well. Um, air is looking pretty thin up here, no doubt about it, but can this go up another 500 points? Yes, of course it can. S&P, same chart, just less juice. Kind of remind S&P kind of like if you look at it in for, as far as drug addicts are concerned, S&P is kind of like kind of takes a bit of dope, occasionally dabbles in ketamine, um, whereas Nazi is cocaine and PCP. Uh, it's kind of the way that I look at it. Here's the trend line in uh, in ES for all you ketamine fans, uh, which is now a prescription over the counter here in Switzerland for depressed people. I found that kind of amusing the other day when I heard that. Anyway, this line also kind of defines it. When is this going to turn? I don't know. Uh, you might as well just wait for it to get below 3,400 if you're bearish. If you're bullish, just trade the pullbacks, right? So today you'll buy, I don't know, buy around 30 and just try and... Uh, trade for some pips on the long side if you feel like it. We're square, yes. Uh, like everything else except for the bond market, uh, we're just watching today. Anyway, I've said a lot for a day that we're just watching. Sorry about that. Um, talk to you guys tomorrow. Good luck out there.